Parallax layers are one of the coolest visual tricks in 2D games. Odds are you've probably seen them used in loads of 2D games, some less obvious than others. So just sit back, relax and let me show you guys how easy it is to do in Godot with no code required. So right now in my scene, I have a player character with a camera 2D node attached to it and a bunch of parallax layer textures. So the first thing you'd want to do is add a parallax background layer node to your scene, then add a parallax layer node as a child of that, then add a sprite 2D as a child of that, and that's where you can add your first parallax layer texture. You can duplicate the first layer and then add the second layer texture to the new sprite node. Then you'd want to center your sprite node by setting its position to half the resolution of your game. That way the texture is at the center and you don't get weird results like this. And now if you run the game, you'll see that it's not looping, it just stops awkwardly and we don't want that. So in order to make it loop, we just click on the parallax layer node and then head to the mirroring property and set its X to the resolution of your background texture. We'll just repeat that for both layers and now if we run the game, it loops. So now we just head over to the layer that we want to appear farthest away and then since we are only moving along the x axis, we'll just set its x scale to a number that's less than 1. A quick explanation, so what I believe the scale represents is actually the movement scale. So when the camera moves 10 pixels to the right, the layer with a scale of 0.5 for instance will move half of that. So with that being said, we'll want to set the scale on our farthest layer to 0.5. This can be anywhere between 0 and 1, but for my preference, I decided to choose 0.5. And for our somewhat middle layer, we'll want to leave it as 1, because we want that to follow the player. And if we run the game now, gorgeous. Now for the extra sauce, we can also add a foreground. All we have to do is add another parallax background layer node to our scene and then add a parallax layer to that, then add a sprite to that. Then we can add our foreground layer texture to that sprite. And now we can set the parallax layer scale to 2 on the X because it's going to be reacting like it's closer to the camera, therefore we want it to move faster. And then mirror it to its resolution. Now if you run the game, it's gorgeous. 